the E3 Sentry, also known as the Airborne Warning and Control System, or AWACS. Looks like your typical airplane, except for a large radar dome that sits 11 feet above the back of the plane. With that radar, the AWACS provides all-weather surveillance, command, control, and communications needed by U.S. and Allied Air Commanders. The passenger compartment is filled with computers and radio equipment that can detect and track aircraft at all altitudes, boats in the ocean, and even direct Allied aircraft against the enemy up to 250 miles away. Success in the air depends on the airmen of Tinker Air Force Base's 552nd Air Control Wing to rapidly deploy and utilize the AWACS. The 552nd Operations Group is at the core of this weapons system, providing the personnel who perform the surveillance, warning, and control mission. A typical crew includes the pilots, navigator, flight engineer with radar, computer and communication technicians, and weapon controllers who work together to get the plane and radar where it is needed to perform the AWACS mission. But before an airman can participate in an AWACS mission, they have to go to school. Airmen at Tinker Air Force Base have to complete their qualifications in both ground and E3 Century Pacific training before they get to fly. Ground training includes classes on life support and chemical warfare, while E3 training consists of academics and flight simulators. Once airmen prove their capabilities in the training squadron, they are assigned to the Wings Flying Training Squadron. For many airmen, this is their first time flying. Prior to every flight, each aircrew position goes through an in-depth planning session on the ground, allowing instructors to train crew members on what needs to be done and how best to accomplish it. While in flight, instructors teach students how to apply their academic and simulator training. An aircrew member has unique responsibilities and will spend between one to six months training to become mission qualified. Once students pass their training, the newly qualified aircrew members are assigned to one of six operational AWACS flying units in the United States Air Force. While the crew of the AWACS can see and control most of the battlefield in the air, they also get help from airmen on the ground. The men and women of the communications group creates, delivers, and sustains communications and computer support for all U.S. Air Force E-3 Century aircraft. The group is responsible for mission software that connects AWACS computers with Allied aircraft and weapon systems. The group also provides ground communication support for the 552nd Air Control Wing. Every 552nd Air Control Wing AWACS mission begins and ends with the communications group. The flight starts when the air crew picks up the mission hard drive and ends when the crew returns to Tinker Air Force Base. The data is then downloaded for future analysis to ensure AWACS sustains its enduring role in gaining and maintaining air superiority. The E-3's radar is an important asset to fighting terrorism, and the maintenance group's job is to make sure everything is working properly. Long before the aircraft ever takes off, hundreds of maintenance personnel look over it to ensure it's ready for flight. Day or night, in any weather condition, attention to detail during the maintenance of these aircraft is paramount in assuring the safety of the aircrew. Many inspections are performed daily on the aircraft. These inspections are from the engines and brake assemblies to refurbishment, corrosion controls, and airframe maintenance. Without these vital inspections and repairs, AWACS could not perform its mission. But maintenance is more than fixing planes. It also includes taking care of the parts that make AWACS unique. It's radar, communication, and computer systems. Electronic technicians are available to inspect and repair the navigational and radar systems, including the computers and display monitors aboard the aircraft. Thanks to the maintenance group, the AWACS and its equipment can deploy anywhere in the world at any time. From deployment and logistical planning to technician training, the AWACS maintainers and support network work together to ensure freedom is preserved throughout the world. The AWACS is one of a kind, and its radar has helped the U.S. control the skies during the Gulf War, along with Operations Noble Eagle and Enduring and Iraqi Freedom. And thanks to the airmen of Tinker Air Force Base, the AWACS will be monitoring the skies for years to come.